Now, if you like breaking rules, there's one place you'll want to visit in the coming months because London's Somerset House is actually celebrating the biggest rule breaker of them all, the Beano comic. Yes, Dennis the Menace and Minnie the Minx are taking over the 18th century building, which means anything might happen. James Waterhouse is there to tell us about it. James. Assad, welcome to Beano Town. I've brought some of my friends with me. This is a very unique celebration of the world's longest running comic. Every week in Dundee, the Beano has been printed every week since 1938. Artists here have been influenced by the comic and followed the, the theme of rule breaking. Sounds appealing, doesn't it? But it's not just about that. And it's a little bit further down that you step into this colourful, nostalgic world. Now, you might recognise the Bass Street kids there. Technically, everyone in Beano Town passed through that school, although maybe not Dennis. But I really want you to see these original Beano artworks by artist Leo Baxendale, who created Minnie the Minx in the 1950s. And I'm delighted to say we're joined by Laura Howell, the comic's first female artist who draws Minnie today. Laura, thanks for chatting to us. Talk us about what we're seeing. So this is the very first Minnie the Minx strip from 1953. And uh, Leo Baxendale uh, originally described her as an Amazon warrior. And, and she, like all the characters, well, she, I would say she's especially a handful. You started drawing her in 2018. How much license did you have to take her on yourself? Uh, well, obviously with an iconic character like Minnie, there's uh, a certain amount of pressure um, associated with living up to the amazing artists that have come before me, like Baxendale and um, Jim Petrie, for example. But uh, I think basically I try to strike a balance between honouring them and um, bringing a touch of my own style to it to make it unique. Well, Laura, thanks so much for giving us a brief history lesson. I think plenty of people are jealous of your job. Beano fans or otherwise, this display will be running until March next year.